بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما okay so the next thing we'll talk about uh, some we'll try to see some of the uh, lan implementations like initially we'll try to see a simple small office home office lans and probably in the next slide i'll be covering something about an enterprise lan how it is going to be now when we say small office home office means typically it is like a lan where you have 10 to 15 computers or less than that and you are you are running a small office with around 5 to 10 people and you you want your devices to be connected within the network so probably like a small office space or maybe you you can even call it as a uh, as a home network where you are using uh, maybe a laptop pc and then your mobile phones probably they are connected in one network so in order to build this small office home office lan so basically you need a switch that is a first device a lan switch now the switch is a device which provides a centralized location from where you can connect all the devices so if you want to connect your computers and if you want to connect your printer or if you want to connect a router basically because from the router again you connect to the internet or the service portal basically uh, typically this comes under wan connection we'll talk about more on the wan part but this this port comes under the lan lan part so you need a centralized uh, switch which provides a centralized location to connect all your devices in your network and again you need different types of cables so we'll talk more on the cables connectors those things probably in a separate section and again as i said you need ethernet cables also so in ethernet cables also we need different uh, because all the devices ethernet devices or the nodes they have to connect to the switch and the ports which we use here we call them as ethernet ports generally ethernet port this fa means fast ethernet port so typically the speeds even you have something like gig ethernet ports where it supports 1000 mbps okay so ethernet cables are the physical wire which are which are used to send your data between the devices also in the router so in a small office you also need a router because uh, typically you will be connecting to a service forwarder from where you need to access the internet so the router is a device which provides connection from lan to wan either you're connecting to a to a internet mostly in the small office you connect to a internet in some corporate networks in a big enterprise networks which we'll see later on you may connect to the remote branch office also so again it depends but mostly in the small office or home office we don't have any other remote branch offices so basically we want all the users sitting in my lan should be able to access internet so that is a requirement so you need a router so that you can connect to internet or a remote branch and the next thing we also need a wireless device so most of the typical small office home office networks also have some kind of wireless connections because you may have some users like let's say i'm using some tablets or, or some ipads or you are using your smartphones or laptops so basically these devices uh, need to be more flexible so that you know you you might be roaming from one place to another place maybe one room to another room so you uh, even though you are not physically connected you you should also be connected through wireless so again we discussed that access point is a device which provides the wireless connections or centralized uh, connection to all your devices without a wire so you may also use some kind of access points to provide the connectivity so what are the devices we are using so basically you will have a switch for providing a wide a uh, centralized connection and the cables of course a router for internet or wan connections and also some wireless device like access point to support wireless lan connections so again if you're using some wireless connection again this you will have an ethernet cable which will be connecting you know normally this ethernet cable will be connecting to an access point and this access point is going to connect through wireless and then this will allow the communication from your wide network to wireless network also so this is uh, a kind of typical small office and the home office lan 
But if you talk about today's uh, networks, like, uh, like let's say, so which means if you take this example here, in this, uh, what are the devices I require? I require a switch, I require a router, and again, I need one more device called access point for providing my wireless connections. So in general, in most of the small office, home office connections, setting up, maintaining separate devices is not an easy job. So basically all the vendors, they offer one device uh, which supports all the three features in built in that. Like if you take this router here, this is a wireless device. It has an inbuilt switch ports. You can see there are eight ports. You will find four port, eight port, 12 port, depends upon the models what you select. So four ports means you can connect up to four wired devices, four computers. Or if you want to extend, you can connect this to the another switch and you can extend this if you want multiple if you want uh, more than four or more than eight you can connect this to one more switch and you can extend the LAN and which which provides a LAN connection so this is like a switch and also it has one WAN port normally the WAN port and this WAN port typically connects to the service border or the internet and depending upon what type of uh, what type of connection you're using based on that the port port types will vary like if you're using some DSL internet connection, then you have some uh, kind of RJ11 kind of connector. If you're using cable modem internet connection, so you have an RJ45 connectors normally nowadays. So you have one WAN port, uh, which acts like a router. So which means you don't need a router actually, because uh, this is like interconnected and this port takes you to the uh, internet or to the service border. And also they have inbuilt antennas. So you don't see the antennas here complete. It's not, but generally you may have an integrated antenna. Maybe you don't see the antenna in some routers, but you have an integrated antenna. Uh, or even you have some antennas which will be uh, sending some kind of radio frequency signals broadcasting. And as long as you are within this coverage area, you will be able to connect your wireless devices. So which means this is like um, having a switch router and the access point basically in one single device. So most of the small office, home office networks typically use this device because maintaining, you know, connecting and maintaining separate three devices and interconnecting them probably that that is going to be a little bit difficult for the end users. Or even for the small office, you know, you don't have a dedicated engineer to maintain this network. So you need some, some kind of pre-configured devices. So, so you'll get these devices which has inbuilt and you can, you can set up a small small office and home office lands based on this.